Do you want a nugget of truth to start out your day? If so, you have come to the right place. Here we give you a devotional power boost to the beginning of your day and pray that God will bless you as he sees you on your way. Welcome and so glad you have joined us for yet another daily devotional on Frame with a Mission. I am reading from Amazing Answers to Big Bible Questions. Today we are going to be studying The Bible is the sole source of truth. Shouldn't we reject all modern day prophets? Our Bible verse today is found in 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 20 and 21. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. It is true that the source of all doctrine should be the Bible and the Bible alone. But within the Holy Scriptures, we are told that God gives the gift of prophecy to his church. The Apostle Paul writes, He himself gives some to the apostles, some prophets, some vigilance, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body. Ephesians 4 verses 11 and 12. Such gifts help to bring us all into the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Verses 13. If we say that we believe in the Bible and the Bible alone, we must naturally accept what it teaches about the prophecy gift. For instance, Jesus' end time church will have the gift of prophecy. Revelation 12 verses 17, 19, 10. Revelations 22 verses 9. Of course, we're told that we must test all prophecies. If they speak in harmony with the Bible, we should follow their counsel. Sometimes our pride is wounded when we are rebuked by a prophetic message. We turn away from the message and attack the messenger. We live in danger of ignoring truth we don't want to hear because we feel slagotted. Notice Jesus' words regarding the prophecy work of John the Baptist. I say to you, among those born of woman, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. And when all the people heard him, even the tax collectors justified God having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. Luke 7 verses 28 and 30. Christians must follow the Bible, counsel regarding prophets. If I fail to listen to and test the prophets, I am not boasting by faith upon the Bible. Just remember that the prophet who contradicts God's word are false and should be rejected. If you have enjoyed this devotional, then please look around and find the like button and give it a friendly tap on the shoulder. Put a comment down there and tell me which part of this devotional was your favorite, which part you got out a good nugget that you can take throughout the day, um, and just consider subscribing because the more the merrier and you know God's family is not a small family so if you would love to join us in this adventure of praying with a mission check out what we have below there are many other options and see you around